I've been considering cracking open my neighbor's water pipes and contaminating with Benadryl to give them night terrors. Their 3 a.m. conversations I hear through the styrofoam walls are starting to get to me. And it's a win-win for me because they either shut the fuck up and sleep all day or move to a psych ward to treat their fictitious schizophrenia. I reckon if you stay up until 3 every night that you lack aspirations, so I'm not affecting their life trajectory very much. I'm just expediting the process. Would you rather be 22 and succumb to drugs or 40 and hit your kids in the process? Process. Shout out to all my people from broken households. The thing I'm most afraid of is waking up in the middle of the night to them chewing a hole in the drywall. They metamorphosed into a sinocephalic creature and are tearing through the plaster with their razor teeth. It's quite the predicament to wake up to mid-fever dream. They'll eventually find out I spiked their water and do the same to me with an even more potent concoction. But I already knew that because the DMT that they finagled into my water makes me live every possible life and thus cannot be misled as I've gathered every particle of animal obtained information that has been or will be accumulated. I am the perpetual motion device. My brain is the Milky Way. My hands and feet are the tools that guide dread and terror to those who dissent. Then when my neighbor and I converge to the same mental institution, our spirits intertwine as we transcend the physical realm together. I've actually never met them, so I'm scared to ask for their silence. A bad foot to get off on.